One of the things, guys, is when I far first started with Sammy, I wasn't very good at styling hair, finishing hair. Uh, I had never been a wedding stylist or a, really a prom stylist or anything like that. But after he taught me my first braid, I realized that braiding can be incredibly fun. And that was one of the things that really helped me to get more excited about styling. What I'm doing here is called the crochet knot. And what we're doing is we take a loop, we create the loop, and we pinch the tail of the loop in between these, uh, sorry, my pointer finger and my middle finger. Once I have that secured, I pick up a vertical slice. Can you turn you here just a little bit, love? I pick up a vertical slice, and I add it in between those two fingers. So that adds that hair. Now watch closely what happens is I take those fingers and I pull it up and through. I let my pointer finger stay inside the loop, so I maintain the loop, grab that tail, and then I slip the middle finger back in between. Now do you see that I'm back at my starting point again? So I grab the tail, take a little vertical slice again, and add it in. So for those of you that feel a little intimidated by styling or possibly even braiding, this is a great alternative. And it adds a lot of value behind the chair because, guys, I love what Sammy says. He always says, there is no value in the break room. And what that means is while your color is sitting there and processing, there is no value in you sitting in the break room and gossiping with your girlfriends. So what we can do, though, is we can keep a doll head sitting there ready to go Mrs. Jones is sitting there in the chair having her color process, and we pull out that doll head. We bring the doll head over to Mrs. Jones, and we say, hey, I want to show you something really cool that you can do on your daughter's hair. Now, when we say added value, what's really important there is we're not talking about upsells. We're not even talking about adding service. We're just talking about adding value because you have the time to do it, and that's what your clientele is looking for, and that's what these little techniques can do for you. Now, I've wrapped this all the way around to the right corner back of her head. I've gone past center. And there's a really important piece why, and I'll tell you more about that. The way that I'm going to finish this now is I'm going to keep my finger here in the loop. I'm going to take that tail and just put it the opposite way through the loop and pull the tail all the way through now rather than doing my loop. So what that does is it creates a little knot right there at the end to finish the braid. I take a, a grip. And I just put it back it up right. and through right the tail you. and the last piece there, and that's going to secure it. Now I'm just going to go to my opposite side. I'm going to switch, and now my left hand's going to be my loop hand. I'm going to braid that back, and then I'll show you the finish in just a second. Woo! <laughs> I like a woo. All right, over here, I'm just working simply with knots. We moved away from braiding, just started doing knots and discovered you can create real simple things with knots. So all I did was grab two sections at the temple. Then here's the discovery I had. Been tying knots for a few years, years now, but I simply tied it vertically. And when I tied it vertically, my friends, it moved to one side. And I thought, ah, we're onto something here. So watch what I'm going to do. I take a section, bring it to the center, but now the hand that picked up, that's where the rhythm starts. And braiding and knotting is all rhythm. Listen to Sam's rhythm. Palms, knuckles, value, anchor, 90, thumb, X, slide, value, inside, and tie. Now here's what I'm talking about. Instead of tying it horizontally like this, I want you to position the hair vertically and tie, and it moves to one side. Once you do that, merge this together as one section. Reach to the opposite side, take another vertical section, Okay, now watch again. Left hand's gonna be my action hand. That picked up the hair. This is gonna be my action hand. Palms, knuckles, value, anchor, 90, thumb, make an X, slide down, gives you more room to go inside, and you grab that section. Now watch it move to the left. See how it moved that to the left? Now you merge that together. We take another slice here. Come to the Reckon booth, and we're gonna go be going through, showing you to do this in slow motion, step by step. You continue the same rhythm. Remember, what we're trying to say is rhythm is just sound bites. That's all it is. It's not, a sec it's not me saying, okay, reach over here, take a section, put this in the palms of your hands. Okay, I want you to bring your knuckles together, and now I want you to make a peace sign with this. I want you to put the peace sign. That's a lot of words to remember. So here's what I want you to get. Palms. That's telling me place the hair in the palms of my hands. 
not the habitually between my fingers if I was braiding. Palms. Next one is telling me, put my knuckles together so that when I go the next rhythm, value, knuckles are together, anchor, 90, tells me lift this up. Thumb says, lift up your thumb so you can make an X. Slide means pull out so you can get more room. Value goes inside. You grab this section and you tie. It moves to the left. Now watch. On the right, same procedure. Give you a profile view of it. Palms, knuckles, value, anchor, 90, thumb, X, slide, value, inside, and tie. That's how simple this is, Andrew, in terms of what we're doing. You merge it together, and look at the pattern you get out of that. That is such a cool pattern. See, this is what I call visual value. Visual value is getting the attention of somebody by doing things in a different way. It has come time, my friends, to change the industry. And at San Villa, we're going to change it by doing things in a different way. And you're either with us or you're not. But I promise you, at some point, you're going to join us. Because we're going to do things in a different way. So I'm just going to continue to lift a section on the opposite side. All right, so now what you can see is I'm merging those sections together. I tied the two ends together with a, just a little rubber band there. Now I'm going to take a big hairpin and pull the two together, turn it upside down, and then pull it through. And what that's going to do is help me to secure those two pieces together. Now, you know, Sammy's talking about the, the Game of Thrones. I used to make fun of him because he always said Games of Thrones. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> he gets so much crap from us. So Game of Thrones you. is huge, and this, this very classic, romantic, uh, almost warrior sort of feel is very, very prevalent in fashion right now. So these kind of crown braids, you guys see them all over Pinterest, you see them all over the place. And guys, the thing is, we don't want our clients learning from Pinterest, we want them learning from us. And that's what's really important, that you understand these techniques and you show your guest, hey, I know how to do this. I can do this for you. You be the professional. So we have less YouTube videos like that poor little girl burning her hair off trying to make a million views. I think she got quite a few million views, Sammy, right? Yes, she did. She, the wrong she way. went viral. <laughs> so as you can see, it's just a really simple little, little technique. It gives you a really nice finish and it it looks similar to a braid, but it has a different visual impact, and that's really what we want. We can't just keep putting the same thing out. If this was just a braid, it wouldn't be important. Because it's a fresh technique, it's important. Does that make sense? Very cool. So I'm just going to actually pull it apart a little bit more just to bring out even a little more of that tribal essence to it and just make it look really fresh. And if you see these little sticky outies here and there, you know what, just, just go ahead and tuck them in. And that's the beautiful thing about braids a lot of times. All right, I've completed the look, Andrew, just going through now. Products of choice. I hit this with a texture iron. It is called a texture iron because it alters the texture of the hair. You can see it at the San Villa booth. It's not a mini crimping iron. Use it simply at the base for your backcombing effects so that your backcombing will last. It's an awesome tool. I use that to get more girth, more fatness out of the hair, and your braids will hold a lot easier. Next thing that I worked with was my Iron Shape 11 when working with the texture iron. So you have a thermal protector. Then I'm coming back in with my Quick Tease 15. Loving Quick Tease for a little bit more shine effect, but also for control of 15 as I'm working with it. So real simple once again, a little bit of a modern heritage feel to it in terms of what it works. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. My phone's vibrating. Hello? Again, Sam? Oh, I'm just kidding. Watch this. Okay, she's going to the pool. You take Fashion Waves 07, each section you hit it with Fashion Waves 07. Do the look, she goes to the pool, her phone goes inside this. That's where her phone goes. You gotta love it, Danielle. You gotta absolutely love it. So now at nighttime, when she's, got, when she's at the pool, this is where her phone is, but at nighttime what happens is she takes this look completely out. And with Fashion Waves 07, she's created a beach wave effect out of it. So really, two looks in one at San Via were about double identity in terms of creating that. So once again, this is from us to you. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.